A semiconductor update and U.S. sales surge in November for Toyota, Hyundai, Kia, Mazda, and Subaru. Honda falls a little short. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, rocking and rolling today here with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Well, Liz, semiconductor shortages must be behind us because deliveries jumped 10% at Toyota, 52% at Subaru, 43% at Hyundai, 25% at Kia, and 31% at Mazda. But the sales news for Honda, down 6.1%. Wonder how they missed the vote. Well, not sure, but it's just more proof that car inventories are on the rise. U.S. sales at Toyota, Subaru, Mazda, Hyundai, and Kia all rose by double-digit percentages last month from a year earlier, with the Hyundai and Kia brands both setting November records. Deliveries jumped for most automakers. Hyundai Motor CEO Randy Parker said in a statement on Thursday, This was a terrific November for sales and especially our lineup of eco-friendly vehicles. Despite economic headwinds, we are still able to record an all-time retail and total sales record in November. The results came amid rising production and inventory across the industry after the microchip shortage and other supply chain snags limited automakers from being able to meet demand for new vehicles for much of the past two years. Hyundai, proving it has moved beyond semiconductor problems, said its inventory has more than doubled from a year ago to 39,898 vehicles at the end of November. That's up from 31,529 a month earlier and 17,096 in November 21. At Toyota, brand sales rose 12%, while Lexus fell a bit by 4.3%. Toyota car sales surged 42%, including an 80% gain for the Corolla, but the brand sold 3.7% fewer SUVs. Mazda Motor Corp said November sales surged 31% to 26,906 vehicles. Subaru deliveries rose 52%. Sales of the Subaru Crosstrek, Forester, and Legacy more than doubled from a year ago. But in the midst of all this sales surge information, American Honda posted a 6.1% decline from November 2021. Sales fell 5.2% for the Honda brand and 14% for Acura. Mm. This latest news puts American Honda's sales down 35% on the year. In November, Honda's top four selling nameplates, the CRV, HRV, Accord, and Civic, all saw declines. Most of the auto industry reports U.S. sales on a quarterly basis, but Ford was a day late to this graphic, but not a dollar short. Ford Motor Company said it was the top-selling automaker in the U.S. for a third consecutive month, posting a 5.8% increase in November light vehicle sales that contrasted with declines for nearly all the other companies that reported their results. Ford's utility vehicle sales jumped 20% from a year earlier, and F-Series pickup sales rose 15% despite the effects of the microchip shortage which for some time now served to thin dealership inventories. Right. The automaker said sales of its electrified vehicles grew at triple the rate of those from other manufacturers. Ford also said its total light vehicle sales of 157,417 were enough to beat all other automakers, including General Motors and others that report on a quarterly basis based on numbers those companies provide privately to analysts and industry data trackers. GM doesn't want anyone knowing how badly they got dusted. So Aww. the last time Ford had such a streak at number one was 1974. An interesting nugget here though, folks, is that Ford said 29% of its November retail sales came from customer orders rather than dealership inventory. Mm. Dealerships took in 74,000 new retail orders during the month, a slight dip from 77,000 in October. That's an interesting trend. U.S. light vehicle inventories were expected to rise from November 2021 as inventory shortages from semiconductors continued to ease. Higher interest rates are increasing customers' monthly payments, though. But yeah. The good news out of this is that dealerships are now selling fewer vehicles above sticker price, 41% in November versus 50% in July, according to J.D. Power and LMC Automotive. So stay a country mile away from any dealer doing MSRP market adjustments right now. Those tactics are old news. Those dealers are totally wrong, and every car buyer should be refusing to pay such ridiculous prices. That's right. Thomas King from J.D. Power said, November results demonstrate that vehicle production is continuing to improve with available retail inventory exceeding 1 million units for a second consecutive month yeah. and a larger share of manufacturer's production being allocated to fleet customers. That's kind of big news. Yeah. On the retail side, demand continues to exceed supply as evidenced by continued strength in transaction prices, retailer profits, inventory turn rates, and minimal manufacturer discounting. However, as inventories and interest rates rise, these metrics will show signs of either moderation or decline. 
One organization we haven't heard much about recently, True Car, said November retail sales were on pace to be roughly even with a year earlier. It projected a 68% jump in fleet sales from November 2021. Zach Crelly, industry analyst at True Car, said inventories are on pace for a fourth consecutive month of double digit increases. Consumers, however, continue to face affordability challenges and high monthly payments, keeping many on the sidelines, which is where you should stay, right. by the way, you guys. To maintain sales momentum, manufacturers appear to be shifting some of the new supply to non-retail sales. The seasonally adjusted annualized rate of sales in November is expected to be about 14 million, according to analyst forecasts. That would be up from November 2021's 12.9 million rate, but down from 15.3 million in October. Where does this sales news leave the pricing? Well, new vehicle prices remained at record levels with the average transaction price expected to reach 45,872, a Ooh. record for November and a 3.1% increase from a year earlier, JD Power and LMC said. But they added that would be down slightly from a record 46,171 in July. TrueCar estimates average transaction prices tallied 45,290 in November, up 2.8% from November 2021 and 1.2% from October. So folks, we are nowhere near a favorable car market for the proverbial good deal you're looking for. There's also limited news on incentives. The average incentive per new vehicle in November was expected to reach $1,009, down from $1,551 in November 2021, as reported by J.D. Power and LMC, with spending as a percentage of the average sticker price on the pace to fall 2.2%, down 1.3 percentage points from November 2021. A random note of interest, there were 25 selling days last month, one more than November 2021. Seems that that extra day of sales helped a little bit. Yeah. And speaking of new car sales, I have a little story that I'd like to share. Oh boy. <laughs> An old man walks into a Chevy dealer and decides he wants to have a little fun before his life ends, so he buys the latest, greatest, shiny new red Corvette. And pays an arm and a leg for it. Yes. Surprisingly, he can still drive after getting bent over in finance. <laughs> He pulls off the lot in his new Corvette convertible and out onto the interstate. He speeds down the ramp, cruising right past the 55 mile an hour sign. He watches the speedometer rapidly go to 60, 65, 70 miles an hour. The wind blows through what's left of his hair. Oh Man, I haven't felt this good in years, he exclaims, as he blows past the New York State Trooper sitting on the side of the highway. The right. officer zips out after him, lights flashing and siren blaring. The old man looks in the rearview mirror and steps down on the gas. He quickly hits 120 miles an hour, pulling away from the officer. He could have easily evaded him, but after a few minutes, he decided he had enough fun. <laughs> so he stunned the officer by slowing his vehicle down and pulling over to the side of the road. The New York State Trooper catches up with him, comes to a stop, and walks up to the old man's shiny new Corvette. Sir, he says, I'll be honest with you. I have every authority to arrest you, impound your vehicle, and take you down to the station. But it happens to be 4.57 right now, and my shift ends in three minutes. Classic. If I arrest you, I won't get home until 9 o'clock, and I'll miss dinner. So if you can give me a really good reason as to why you are going so fast and then trying to evade me, I'll let you go. The old man sits there and thinks for a minute, and then he says, 20 years ago, my wife left me for a New York State trooper. And I thought it might be you trying to bring her back to me. <laughs> Have a nice day, oh. sir, says the trooper and walks back to his car. Fair enough. I guess it worked. And I want to take this moment early in the month to thank our very loyal audience who has stuck with us through thick and thin. Yes, you guys are awesome. And especially the thin when last fall I was sitting in the hospital. Really yeah. appreciate that. We do indeed enjoy what we do here. And as we said recently, we couldn't have predicted how many others we would inspire to join us in the effort of advocating for car buyers. There are too many other good channels to mention now on YouTube. We tried to mention them recently, but it's just easy to miss someone. Yes, yeah, so we wish an absolutely amazing Christmas holiday season to all of you and to all of the other content creators we have inspired to join our efforts here on YouTube. For you car buyers out there at this point, there's nobody to blame but yourself if you go into a dealer unprepared and uninformed. Could we ask you guys to do a favor for us? Head over to thehomeworkguy.com, our website, and leave us a review with a few thoughts on what you've learned over the last 13 years from us. 13 years. <laughs> what a journey it's been, Liz, and what an honor to take this trip with you. Yeah, pretty lucky, huh? Yeah. 
If you'd like to send us a token of your appreciation for 13 years of service for you guys, the links appearing on the screen will be easy to find in the description box below. PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. So many of you have tipped us over the years. We really appreciate your generosity and kindness. Yeah. And it does serve to tell us how much you appreciate what we're doing here. All right, if you're new here to the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome all of you to our family. And of course, please share our videos on social media. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful followers out there. You guys rock. Merry Christmas to all of you and God bless. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Once again, we're still saving the day, but now we, we gotta, gotta go. go.